Today we are capturing the children's imagination by coming to view a phenomena that will only be available to the, for them to view once in a generation and we wanted to be able to share that with them, allow them to have that experience of something that is just an amazing opportunity. They're absolutely loving it and, and I think actually the conditions that we've experienced today have, have made it really accessible for them. They haven't had to wear the glasses particularly because of the cloud. So they're really able to see an amazing image that will last with them for the rest of their lives. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Children have been so amazed by what they've seen, so excited about what they've seen and extremely well behaved considering it's such an exciting day for them. We're going to go back into class and continue the experience by looking at the, at the stream and on the whiteboards and hopefully do some writing about it as well. So all the curriculum areas should be brought in today. Ellis, can you tell us what we've been doing here today? Um, we've been viewing the solar eclipse with these special goggles at our school. And Lewis, it's been fun? Yes, it's been very fun. At first we couldn't see, but now it's brilliant. Maisie, what have you enjoyed most about today? Um, I really like today how we kind of got to see the um, great big sun in like an orange position because I never thought I would kind of see the sun in that position. Well, this has been a fantastic view of a really good partial eclipse. Just a few moments ago, about 85% of the sun was covered, and we were so lucky that we had a lovely bit of clear sky came over just at the right moment. So we've had at least 100 people here. We've got 400 people at another site as well, and they've all had a good view, which is fantastic. These are pretty rare events. When you think about it, the moon is actually very small, so the chances of it covering the sun and this perfect alignment taking place, it only happens very infrequently. The last really good eclipse in this country was way back in 1999. We, with the equipment we've looked, we've looked through proper filters so you can look safely at the sun, which is the key thing we stress all the time. Never look at the sun directly, always use proper filters. This particular telescope, I've got a filter on the front which looks in hydrogen light, a specific wavelength, so you can actually see detail on the sun's limb, prominences, which we've got some nice shots of. A bit more exciting just than the little crescent. Should get it again. It, it, it's quite a nice view. So we've got a range of stuff here, different views, gives the broad spectrum of looking at the sun.